Welcome back to Clash of Culture. We continue the 2023 college football season. Today, we're going to be talking about where we are in the college football playoffs. So a lot of implications, a lot of big games, a lot of movement. Um, so we're just going to kind of give our thoughts uh, on where we are um, in terms of the four teams that will get in, um, probably some predictions and projections as well. Um, so with that being said, Stephen, what's your thoughts? Where 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 do you see us, um, and where are we in terms of what teams do you think are going to get in the college football playoff? Um, so kind of um, interesting. Well, first off, the elephant in the room, obviously, we haven't been um, on here in like three weeks with an actual <laughs> video. Obviously, we did lives the past couple of weeks, but in terms of actual videos, um, it's been quite some time, so it's kind of good to get back into the rhythm of things. Um, it's Tuesday the 14th, so heading into week 12, I believe. Um, of the college football season. So Dang, still got a, week 12, that's crazy. Yeah, still got a few more weeks to go, but I think um, the biggest thing for me, as I look at kind of the standings and the rankings is there's still five unbeaten teams mm -hmm. um, with the potential to have four um, undefeated teams setting into playoff. I so mean, only, only Michigan, Ohio state play each other of those, of those five, right? Yeah. So this could be the first year where we have four undefeated teams. I don't think it's going to happen, yeah. um, but I don't even think we've had three undefeated teams in the playoffs. So I think that is a very good possibility this year. Um, I think Washington can run the table. I think Florida State likely will run the table, and I think Georgia can. Um, and then you have Michigan and Ohio State, which, matter of fact, one of them is going to run the table. I mean, if we're being honest, one of them is going to yeah. be undefeated. Um, Ooh, four so, undefeated teams. So I think the only team that I could see, the only two teams that I really see losing is either Washington or Georgia. Um, so I think we're going to have at least two undefeated teams in the in the playoff. But I also saw a post. There is a possibility that this year. So this year is the last four team playoff. Right. This could be the last four team playoff with the same four teams as it was in the first four team playoff. Did you know that? Uh, Georgia wasn't in the first one, right? So that would be Alabama getting in. Alabama. We played Alabama. Yeah, it would be and Alabama. It was Oregon, Florida State, right? Yeah, Alabama. Ohio State, Oregon, Florida State. I, was, I saw a post. We obviously would need a little bit of – well, not even a little bit of chaos. Florida State no. would just have to win out. Ohio State would win out. Washington would win out. I mean, uh, Oregon would win out. And then Alabama would just need to beat Georgia, which would um, actually be crazy. Um, but I think there's going to be three undefeated teams. Um, I still don't think the Pac-12 is going to get a team in the playoffs. So, so, so let's rewind. Um, okay, so do you, you believe uh, – a couple of things there. You believe that Georgia is going to beat Alabama. Yes. I think that Alabama team is on, and, and I underestimated them early. I know I was praying on their downfall, uh, but I think the Alabama team is, is, is legit right now. Um, I will say my biggest concern, because you, as you mentioned this, uh, I think a Pat 12 team does get in, but I don't think it's Washington. I still think it's Oregon. I think in the, in the rematch, I think, Washington is going to go into that game undefeated. Oregon is going to beat them um, with one loss. The only problem is Oregon still has to play in the Civil War, and they lost that yeah. game last year. And no, Oregon, State, Oregon State is a top-12 team, so they have a lot of potential to kind of shake some stuff up. I know they – I think they play Washington this week, if I'm not mistaken. So they yes. play Washington and Oregon. I think yeah. they're going to beat – I think they're going to beat one of those teams. And mm -hmm. I think if you beat one of those teams, it, it you know, causes a big area of concern for the Pac-12 because then you have – you're basically depending on other teams to lose to get in. Because I think if Washington loses this week to Oregon State, then Oregon has to look pretty much dominant throughout the rest of the year if everybody else stays undefeated. If you have a Michigan who wins out, or Ohio State, a Georgia, a Florida State, or um, like let's let's put this into perspective. If Oregon were to win out, beat a undefeated Washington, and then they're 12 and 1, do you take them over? a 12 and one Georgia team that loses to Alabama. That's the problem. I would. So it's tough, but I would. And the only reason I say that is because you're talking about a conference champ versus a non-conference champ, right? Both 12 and one and Oregon would have revenged its defeat. So the team that it lost to, it would have beat uh, uh, Georgia won't get that same opportunity. And then because you got to also say at that point in time, Alabama's probably in, you're talking about the Ohio State, uh, Michigan champion in. You're talking about Florida State probably being in. So really, those two head to head. Um, you got it, it, one. I, I, the other part of that is I think you'd want to see as many uh, conference teams uh, represented as possible. And you also, there's a, a few of the other teams we're not talking about as well. You have Texas, who still only has one loss. 
Yeah. Um, they they obviously lost Jonathan Brooks for the rest of the season. He tore his ACL, so he's out. Um, but you still so have. The, the, the question becomes the bigger question to me becomes, what do you do if let's if we play this out? And mind you, obviously we're talking hypotheticals, right? Big Ten champion probably undefeated. Florida State probably undefeated. Let's say let's just say for the sake of argument, Washington is undefeated. Right. So three teams undefeated. Let's say Alabama beats Georgia and Texas is also the Big 12 champion. Does Texas get in over Alabama because they've won the head to head? They would have to Alabama. They would have to because they've been above them the entire time, too. And they have to say the hard part is that at that point. You would have to say Alabama has the best win. Yeah, but they have the head to head win, though. No, I I, I mean, I'm just. Yeah, I think the head-to-head win would be monumental. But I think there's another team we're not talking about in this case, and that's Louisville. I think if Louisville runs the table and beats Florida State, I think they should get in, especially with if something happens along the way. I think if, for example, if Washington loses, if obviously they beat Florida State, if well, Georgia loses to Alabama, then you have a bunch Louisville's of – lost to? They lost to – I can't remember who they lost. Georgia to. Tech? No, they lost to Pitt. They lost to so Pitt, the- I think. The bad part is they're going to have the worst loss of a one win of a one loss team. Their loss they, is going to be the worst. They're going to have the worst loss, but they're going to have arguably the best win. Yeah, in Florida yeah. State, in Florida State, because I think I think Florida State has the best resume out of anybody in college football. They have a win over. They have a win at Clemson. They have a win over LSU. They have a win over. Well, Duke. the hard the hard part is this becomes one of two things. Right. It is how do I rate these teams now versus how good do I think they are? And I mean this to say, I think if you took a bunch of the teams in the top 25, I think Clemson would beat them. But Clemson still has four losses. And you do the same thing with LSU. Do I think LSU is better than a bunch of the teams that are ranked ahead of them? Yes. But they still have three losses. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not saying Clemson should be in this conversation. I'm just using no, that no, no. As I'm saying, well, a I'm resume, saying. a resume though, because I think when you look at resumes, if you look at Texas's wins, I don't think Texas has a bunch of wins better than uh, Florida State's wins. So what? Okay, you say Clemson, uh, Clemson, LSU. What other big win does does Florida State have? Uh, Florida State beat Duke. They beat um, Miami. They beat Clemson. Florida. They be they'll end up being Florida, assuming that they're undefeated yeah. at that point. Um, so I mean, as of right now, um, I mean, I feel like that is more impressive than um Texas because Texas really only has the win over Alabama. They have wins over Rice, Wyoming, Baylor, Kansas is a good win, um, Houston, BYU, Kansas State, TCU, and then Iowa State and Texas Tech who are both probably going to be right around 500. One of them is six and four. One of them is five and five. So I think Florida state will have the best win. And that's, I'm just using that argument in the case of Louisville. I think if Louisville were to win out, there's no way they don't have a case because no, they definitely have a case. Like I said, the concern is just a loss because again, you're going to have, and that's if Georgia were to lose, Georgia would be 12 and one. And then Alabama would be a one loss SEC champion. Louisville would be a one loss ACC champion. Oregon would be a one loss Pac-12. Like, Texas would be a one loss Big 12. Like let's so there would all be one let, one one there all be one losses. Let's assume and, and if we played this out for Louisville. Louisville as a one loss ACC champion probably doesn't get in over a one loss Georgia non-SEC championship champion. And that's just being real because that means Georgia's loss came against Alabama who at that point in time is a top 25 team um, versus Louisville's who came against a non top 25 team, Alabama at that point in time would be a top 14 probably. And again, I'm just, I would assume that yeah, Louisville but, does not but, get in over Georgia. The problem with that is we've seen that before though. Clemson lost to Pitt and they were a one loss AC title, uh, AC champion. And they got in over one loss, non, non um, conference champion. So it's, I don't think that would happen. I but, think so. So, and again, I'm not, I think Clemson is considered more, and I think this matters. I think Clemson is considered more of a blue blood. Well, this happened before. This was in 2016. This was no, before no. they won championships. So the, I, I believe, oh, okay. if I'm not mistaken, this is yeah, not, the year. Remember. This is the year after we went undefeated. We lost to Pitt, and then we beat Alabama in in Tampa. 
So this wasn't like before. This wasn't when like this wasn't the year Trevor Lawrence was there and we lost well, to the team. I, I mean, I'll be honest. If Louisville wins the ACC, I'd still I I'd still be shocked if they got in. And because Florida State is would be a top three team at that point. Yeah, because no, Ohio, I mean, Ohio State and Michigan, one of them is going to lose, so they're going to jump them. Yeah. Um, Georgia still plays Tennessee this week, which I don't think that could be overlooked as well. Um, so I think Louisville right now is sitting at nine. Obviously, the playoff rankings come out in like an hour or two whenever they come out. But I think they're probably going to be right around nine still. Um, I don't think they're going to jump anybody who they're, who's behind them or who's ahead of them right now. Yeah, nobody um, lost. Yeah, I think um, they'll be right around nine as well. But I just think – especially because with Texas losing Jonathan Brooks, I don't think they're penciled in to win out. Um, they may lose in the Big 12 title game to whoever they have to play. You still have Oregon, like I said, who has to play Oregon State. Washington has to play Oregon State. So Oregon State can really play spoiler. Um, what would you think about – Oregon State is 8-2. and two. We've never seen a two-loss team get in. What yeah. if Oregon State beat Washington, beat Oregon, and then beat Washington again in the Pac-12 t- championship game? That would be – Three top ten wins in a row. Yeah. I think at that point, and their losses. They'd have to, to be in the conversation. Uh, yeah, for who, sure. They'd have to Oregon, be in the conversation. Oregon State lost to Arizona by three. And Arizona's and they, a top twenty-five team now. And they lost to Washington State by three. Um, that no, would be. They, I think that would be like ultimate chaos if Oregon State yeah. beat Washington. And, and Oregon. Oregon, yeah, and then be... and then played Washington in the Pac-12 title game. Like, where do you put them? Because right now, or Oregon State's at ten. So let's say hypothetically they beat number five Washington, they got to be like number seven or eight. But Washington, I, like, do you put Washington below them at that point? Because well, they still have one more. Because one more you say one. seven or eight, I still think there's a lot. Because when you say seven or eight, are they everybody in front of them is a one loss team? One loss or lower or less. So even beating Washington, or let's just say they beat Washington, but none of those other teams lose. Are they jumping? I think they, they would. Jumping Louisville, Alabama, I think, Texas. I think they would because if you remember last year, we were in the same situation where Alabama had two losses and they were in front of one loss teams. Yeah, I, again, and I'm not. I think, and I'm just just speaking frankly. I think there's some bias. I, I, and I think Alabama, that will happen for an Alabama. That's not going to happen for an Oregon State. I and don't think also, I, I don't think Oregon State is going to jump Alabama with, with more losses. But I also think, and if you look at, this is just the AP. I, I'm not even looking at the college football playoff rankings. Hold on, let me make sure I'm looking at the right rankings. Because we're going off of the AP when. Well, yeah. It's not, we could be speaking wrong right now. Let me see. So I can't even find it. Can you find it? Playoff rankings. They're 12. Oregon State is, yeah. So, So, yeah, so it's it's completely different, really. Um, Louisville's at 11. Um, Ole Miss is at 9. Obviously, Ole Miss just lost, right? Ole Miss lost to To Alabama or to Georgia. Georgia. They got blasted. They're going to move back. Penn State obviously just lost, so they're going to move back. So yeah. I, and I, I think Oregon State will be right around ten. Then they should be right around ten or nine. Yeah, um, with, right so Louisville. almost like how it looks in the AP, uh, yeah. with all of those one one loss teams ahead of them. But like I said, that becomes tough because I I don't I don't believe even if they beat Washington and Twice. Alabama. No, well I, I'm I'm just going by this week first. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, because again, if they beat Washington, Oregon, and Washington, I think then we're talking about a whole different conversation. But I don't think if they beat Washington this weekend that they're going to jump Alabama. I don't think they're going to jump Alabama or Texas. Um, I think they may jump Louisville. I can see them jumping Louisville. I don't see them jumping Alabama or Texas, if both of those teams win as well. I think it would just have to come down to the facet of the game and how it looks, maybe. Ah, Um, um, But, I mean, I think another thing that has to be stated is Oregon State is the highest-ranked two-loss team on the AP poll, Um, and that's over a Mizzou, over a – I think – Tennessee, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Louisville, I mean, not Louisville, um, uh, Oklahoma, Penn State, Mizzou, um, Ole Miss. So you're looking at the AP. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the AP. Um, Just because we're looking at the updated records. um, And Penn State obviously has two losses now. 
as well as um, Ole Miss. So I think the fact that the AP has them um, as the quote unquote best two loss team. Um, and I think if you go and knock off one of the five remaining undefeateds, um, it's obviously this win. is, this so is you a, think like, they would, you think they would jump chance. Alabama if they, if they won this weekend, you think they jumped Alabama? I wouldn't be surprised, but I, I probably wouldn't predict it, but I wouldn't be like, Oh my God. Like, because you beat a team that has looked pretty much dominant the entire season, Washington has a top yeah. six win and you go and knock them off. Um, I don't know if it's at home or if it's on the road, but I think regardless, if Oregon state wins that game, um, they, like I said, they, I think Oregon state has the most, like most potential to ruin everything. Um, and I think yeah, I agree. if, if Oregon state beats Washington and Oregon, I know people are going to be in the comments calling me crazy for thinking that, but I don't really think that's no, I crazy. Think I, do I think, let, let me. If I was being honest, do I think they're going to beat both teams and beat Washington twice? No. Do I think it's possible that they win one of those games? Yes. And I will say this: I think if they beat Washington, then I think it kind of makes. I'm not going to say it makes the Pac-12 look bad, but Oregon still has to play Oregon State. That's a rivalry game. Washington still has to play in the Apple Cup against Washington State. That's a rivalry game. Both of those games, if I'm not mistaken. Washington State beat Washington last year, and Oregon State Oregon beat State. Oregon last year. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Correct me in the comment section. But both of those games are not cupcake ba- games. I know Washington State kind of fell off, lost five straight. I know Oregon State is a little brother to the Ducks. I get that. But realistically, I think obviously if Oregon loses another game, they're out. And I think if Washington loses to a two-loss team in the Pac-12 title game, they're out. So that's why I don't think the Pac-12 is going to get somebody in the playoffs. So I think the Pac-12 is kind of in a tricky situation because they really need Oregon and Washington to win both of their last two games, and then I think they have a guaranteed spot. But I well, think if one yeah, of them lose, then, then it gets tricky. It, so it depends on – because I I think either one of those teams is going to get in. Um, it depends – on if they lost, um, it depends on which one loses and then how. Right, because if it, and then who wins the 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 Pac-12 championship? So if Washington loses to let's just say Oregon State, but then comes back and beats Oregon in the uh, in the Pac-12 championship, I think Washington still gets in. Um, I can see that. I I think it would just have to come down to because because. Oh, sorry, I was pressing a button on my mic. I was like, what do you? Do? Oh, I can't hear you. Hold on. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I just I turned the volume down all the way while I was resting my arm. But I think Washington right now is number five. So they're considered the worst. Well, to the AP. Let me put it that way, to the AP. Um, yeah. They're considered the worst undefeated team or like the least, you know, best undefeated team that's remaining. So I think if they are to lose a game, it's going to be tough to put them back into that conversation because how do – how does the committee judge a one loss Washington compared to a one loss Texas, a one loss Alabama, yeah. a one loss um, Louisville? So it's hard to say because right now they think already think they're the worst team as far right. as the AP undefeated team. Right. Out of all the teams in the top, let's say the top six, they have the best win because they got the Oregon win. Um, just quick note: uh, Washington beat Washington State last year, fifty-one okay. to thirty-three. So but- would you would you say? The Washington win over Oregon is a better win than the Texas win over Alabama. No, I'm just going by ranking. Now, do I do I no? Because uh, I think Washington won at home, Texas won on the road at Alabama. But based off of ranking, that's the top ranked. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be interesting for sure. Um, this week, obviously, we have the live show coming on Friday. A yes. few good games: um, Utah at Arizona. Um, what else is on the slate for this week? We have Washington at Oregon State, like we just talked about. Yeah, Kansas State, game. Kansas, um, Florida, what, Mizzou. What game North are Carolina, you? What game? North Carolina, Clemson, like, obviously. What game are you like? I gotta watch that game. Um, I like the Louisville Miami game. I know we talked about them a little bit. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Louisville already clinched their spot in the ACC title game against Florida oh, State. Really? Um, so I the think. ACC title. Oh, they did not. They did not. They did not. Um, if Louisville wins this week, then they've clinched a spot. If they lose and North Carolina wins, then North Carolina should be getting. Now let's spot. also Louisville didn't look great last week. They won against against uh, um, it was Virginia. the Thursday night game. Yeah, yeah, against, against Virginia. Virginia. Um, yeah, that could have been just a situation where you kind of play down to your competition. I don't it's read into point. it too much. I think we're gonna 
learn a lot about them against Miami. I think Miami's a good team. Obviously, they beat Clemson, um, had a close loss um, against Florida State last week, um, beat or had a close loss to North Carolina as well on that weird fumble where it was against Georgia Tech, whoever they lost to. So I think this game is going to be good. So I'm looking forward to seeing um, the the Miami versus Louisville game. I'm looking forward to watching the North Carolina Clemson game because even though Clemson is six and four, even though Clemson six and four, I think this has still major implications to the ACC. If Clemson beats North Carolina, Louisville is in the ACC title game regardless. Yeah. So um, I think that game is going to be really good. But obviously, the Georgia Tennessee is a good game. I really want Tennessee to win that game. Is game um, day was, at Tennessee? Um, no, it's at Oregon State against oh, Washington. Okay. Yeah, I remember saying that. If I'm not mistaken, um, I might actually go to that game. I don't think about it. You should. It's pretty far away though. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's like six and a half hours or something crazy. Seven hours. What day is that game? Sa- this it's on Saturday. Saturday. Uh... Let me see. Corvallis is. It's only four hours away. Four and a half hours away. But you'll probably get a ticket for a decent. Yeah, price. I think I'm, I'm about to look up the tickets right now. But I'll do it when we get off the air. Um, but um, we might be having um, an, well, we didn't even post a vlog for the Clemson game for you guys. I know yeah, we were talking about it on the live you, show. That boy got I was so hyped. The game. I was so <laughs> the game. We saw him the field and everything, but. Please, if you guys have stuck around with us this long, um, do us a quick favor. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys think. Who are your projected four teams in the playoffs? Who are the first two out? Please subscribe. We're at 950 subscribers. Trying to give away the signed Heisman jersey. It's going to be super fun finishing up the season with you guys. Kind of recapping all the teams that we predicted early in the year. Going to yeah. get back on the grind of posting these videos. Uh, so we appreciate you guys. Join the Discord um, and the Pick'em down below. The Pick'em is very a very tight race. I think there's like three people who are tied. I know well, Brandon. I'm Brandon and like Bama and like two other people. Um, so please join that. Um, it's kind of too late, but still join. See how many you can get right towards <laughs> the end of the year. Please join that. It's kind of too late. Well, you can still join just because it, it goes off percentage as well. You can see who has the best percentage. Yeah. Um, but it's been fun. We will see you guys at tomorrow's video and this week's live show. Peace out, everybody.